Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen Series. My name is Joost Appelbaum and in this series we ask famous pen people about their personal Top 3 Pens. Every Monday we have a new episode, so if you don't want to miss out on any video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this week's episode we asked Mike Dudek his personal Top 3 Pens. Mike is a blogger of the Clicky Post, a blog that we sponsor now for several years. The blog is all about writing instruments and stationery. You should definitely take a look at the blog after this video. It is the first time for Mike to be in front of the camera, as he usually only writes on the blog. But I think he did a great job. So let us know in the comments below if you want to see Mike to start his own YouTube channel. Let's have a look at his video. Hey everybody, my name is Mike Dudek and I am the writer of the blog The Clicky Post, uh, as well as the maker of a brand of wooden pen stands called Dudek Modern Goods, so you might have seen those around. Um, been doing both for now almost eight years, and so it's been kind of crazy being a pen blogger and wooden pen block maker for that long. Um, but I was really excited when uh, Yost was kind enough to ask me uh, if I would put together a short video about what I consider to be my top three pens. And so I wasn't really sure how to go about doing that, whether it was like my favorite pens, is it the things I use the most? Um, and so what I kind of thought about was, what are uh, maybe three pens that I think are really interesting or three pens that were... Um, have some sort of story maybe associated with them. So now you have to bear with me on my video skills. Uh, I definitely am more of a, a blogger type type face, and so I don't make a lot of videos. But anyway, I will do anything for Yost to, since he's been so kind to me. Um, so anyway, just to take a quick look, um, here's actually kind of a pen stand, one of the ones that I've made. Um, so and again, very simple, holds a notebook. Um, so in here, it looks like there's obviously more than three pens. I'll get to that. And so what I'll do is I'll start, I'll put this back down and I'll start with kind of the first one. Um, first pen I want to call out is uh, one that maybe a lot of people have heard of. Uh, but this one, let's see if we can get it to focus here. This one is called the Pilot M90. So this one came out in uh, 2008 and it's a limited edition. Um, fountain pen that was put together by Pilot, um, which goes off of kind of the same design and style of the original kind of Pilot Mayu pens. And so it has a, an integral nib, stainless steel, very like space age kind of pen. Um, hopefully that can come through on the video. But anyway, the reason why I picked this pen is it's, uh, I considered this kind of one of my early I don't know, I'll call it like one of my early grail pens. Um, they only made a certain number of these, and so they were a little bit hard to come by, and so it wasn't something I was able to get right away. Um, but a pen I always enjoy, love the design. Um, the second one is uh, kind of a vintage Lamy design, and so uh, it's, a, it's a pen called the Eunuch. And so uh, but what this one is, is it's like a design that was probably made in the 80s, I bet. Um, they don't make it anymore, which is a shame because it's really awesome. Um, and so the reason why uh, this one was also interesting is because these tend to be somewhat hard to come by. And so, but what I was able to do over the course of a long time, and with the help of some friends, I'm trying to put this together here so you can see, uh, I, I was able to acquire the entire set of the Unic pens. And so this was like no small feat. If you've been looking for these, uh, this is a tough set to come by uh, because they are discontinued, they're old, and people seem to still really like them. So I don't know. So one thing that's neat about these is the, the ballpoint, I don't know if you can kind of see this, they come in two models. They come in a ballpoint and a fountain pen. And the, the ballpoint has like kind of a neat um, telescoping sort of tip mechanism. Very Lamy in its design. Um, very kind of modern, very minimal kind of style. Um, it's, a, it's a, I'm not going to totally say this right, but it's like a, a Mueller design. 
And so similar to that of the uh, like Lamy 2000, it was designed by the same guy. So anyway, it has a very kind of cool Lamy vintage sort of feel. Um, very neat. So the reason why this pen is very cool to me is because, like I said, they're very hard to come by. And many of the pens, I bought a couple of the pens like on an auction um, through like a couple of German websites. I think I maybe got one on eBay. But at least half of them uh, I was able to get from people within the community that from kind of different parts of the world even. So um, people were, I was able, either able to trade something with them or they were very kind enough to sell it to me for a reasonable price. So I was able to keep the collection together. Um, so anyway, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a lot of people in the world that have the entire collection of that, but for me, it feels kind of special. Um, and it's just a design that I've always really, really liked. So um, the last pen, this one might seem a little bit weird because it's, I don't know, maybe it feels a little bit self-promoting and I don't mean it to be that way at all. Um, but my first, like my first nice pen that I ever bought many years ago was the Retro 51 Tornado. And it was, I don't know, probably 10 years ago or something like that. And I went to a local pen store, a brick and mortar pen store that's here by me. Uh, they're no longer in business, so which is kind of unfortunate. So they were called Scottsdale Pen Company. And I bought my first black stealth uh, Retro 51 Tornado. And I think I spent like $30 on that pen and I thought, oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> it was one of those things I was almost afraid to tell my wife I spent $30 on a pen. Um, and now looking back, it's like, you know, a $30 pen is, is really not that big a deal. But um, at the time, it was really, really interesting. And so that sort of started me down this path of nice pens and trying new pens. Um, and then ultimately, through me doing the blog and uh, kind of having my brand and uh, being able to meet and associate with a lot of new people, um, I was able to actually partner uh, with Retro 51 on my own exclusive design. Now, so why that's, uh, why that's so cool to me is because it sort of goes like full circle. Um, as a pen blogger, as a pen fan, being able to take sort of the original pen that I got as my first one, and then to turn around eventually, like within, you know, say like 10 years and create my own pen with that same company, um, was just kind of a cool, like we'll call it a dream come true, right? And so that pen is, uh, a design that I'd, I came up with called the system. And so I'm kind of a space nerd. You can kind of see behind me on the walls, I got like space shuttles and stuff like that. Um, and so I've always, always loved space. And so my thought was, is I should design a barrel that has the entire solar system kind of wrapping around the pen. And so, and then the end of it is, you know, let's see, this is really hard to get focused. Sorry guys. Uh, the end has sort of the sun as sort of the centerpiece, but I just loved how such a like kind of a stark contrasting design with the all black and then the colors and the planets just pop. Um, now, I, I was just super excited that I was able to make my own pen, um, but then in response, it was uh, so well received by the community um, that just like lots and lots of people wanted to get their hands on it and so that made me feel really really good um and so this is a really really important pen so it's more than just a pen definitely to me um really cool experience uh really fun to be able to connect with a brand i love and then also to be able to connect to the community in kind of a different way outside of just my reviews so anyway those are my three uh, i would call them my top three pens um Hope that, I hope that was interesting. So just kind of a little peek behind the curtain. And thanks again, Yost, for uh, inviting me to share my top three pens. Thanks, everybody.